So he just goes out there and he calls out Finn and, uh, you know, just says the typical Damien Priest things of like, you're a coward, blah, 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 blah. And uh, instead of coming out, Finn is on the screen and just lets him know, you know what, Damien? We didn't betray you. You betrayed us. And he talks about how, how far back his anger goes against Priest and how long he has been planning to do this to him. And it just took this opportunity. This opportunity came and he could not pass on it. So that's why he got involved in the World Heavyweight title match. And to be honest, I feel like, again, this is another situation where if you were somebody paying attention to what was going on with the Judgment Day, can you really be mad at Finn? Damien was kind of being an asshole. Like, you don't Whoa. have... I'm just saying... Hello, we saw how he was behaving Coming since he became guy. world heavyweight champion. There's no denying that. Especially he once Rhea went out. Finn I know on purpose. I know there's that, but then also once Rhea went out, Damien was then trying to assert himself as the alpha, as the leader, despite the fact he that they all was the leader. But argument, argument, Finn is the leader, has always been the leader. Stop. Finn is the leader. I could argue with you about this. Well, no, no, no. I see where your argument comes in because the whole uh, the yeah, yeah. I get hello, that. Like, hello. Yeah, that is no, no, no. But someone has to like assume the role. Like, yes, assume the but, role in demon. But they had collectively like that. agreed that nobody was going to be the leader, and the fact that Damien kept doing it and scolding them like they were children and acting like he was better than them, I think that he just added. That to the frustration that Finn already had. So that's why, again, this feels like it's rooted in common sense that you kind of can't really be mad about what Finn did. But um, I know I am a little biased, but again, I still feel like if you look at what? it, from, when you look at it from a logical standpoint, you can kind of understand Finn's side is all I mean. I like mean, he's not, another example. he's not a hundred percent the bad guy, similar to the Drew McIntyre CM Punk situation. Drew was not a hundred percent the bad guy. Um, but anyway, so uh, Damien's just standing there listening, blah blah blah. So that's when Finn finally, you know, after he talks his trash and whatever, um, that's when he finally reveals the new Judgment Day, which is this Carlito, un- JD McDaddy. Dirty Dom or Daddy Dom, Daddy Dom. It's and dirt. Lib, Lib, Morgan. What is Dirty, Dirty Daddy Dom? Is that too many D's? Uh, that I also mean, sounds way too sexual for uh, WWE yeah. programming. So I think we need to pick one and stick with it. Daddy Dom is what we're calling him now because Liv Morgan has the necklace with Daddy Dom. Yes. Attached to it. So. Um, that really irked Damien Priest. Um, personally, I loved it. I am so here for this new Judgment Day. I cannot tell you. I am so excited. They are the cool kids. They're the cool kids. It's just like, the, like I get it. I loved Judgment Day, so that's the thing. Like I love, I loved Judgment Day, and now I love the direction that everything is going. So I'm not saying like oh i never liked them i think that they this new vibe of the judgment day is just so good like it's different and i think that's what makes it so good and i feel like looking back at how far they have all come specifically like ria damien and dom Mm. dom being on this side of things now is so cool because if you look at where he was when he first joined judgment day he was like a little puppy and now he is, you know, the, excuse me, Roman, but he's that big dog, you know, where he's like one of the he's biggest a, heels in the big entire dog. company. He's you a, know? He's such a big dog. I also, I love this. One thing about Judgment Day that I hope they continue to do, and it seems like they are doing it, is they need to continue with this trend of, Whoever gets inducted, like the kick, the eventual leader kicks out the old leader. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I mean? Like we had Edge, Damian Priest, Rhea start, then Finn comes in. Edge is gone because he was the leader, and then they were like, "We're we're all same." Like that's what they were saying, and then you have Damian and Rhea are now on the outs, and yeah. Finn kicked them out, mm-hmm. and now live like it, and. 
I want to see this type of thing happen more in rest in WWE. I mean, with factions that may be done, may be done in the moment, but can live on. You know, have like a core member. Like mm. I don't, I don't want to use the example, but I'm going to the Bullet Club. Yeah, you can evolve could, from there. I could kind of see that with the Judgment Day, honestly, because I feel like they're not. <sighs> I feel like a lot of factions are like they can be kind of one dimensional. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. with the new day, for instance, it was like their whole thing was coming. The The origin of why they came together is great. But then it became like, they're the guys that are funny and there's like cereal and pancakes and unicorns, you know, like that. It kind of like put them into a box, but they didn't really have like a common goal. You know what I mean? It wasn't really like, oh, we want to all dominate. It was just like, oh, those are the fun guys, like, doing the hip thrusts and stuff. I feel like with Judgment Day, it's like they all have a common goal, which is to, like, wreak havoc on the the Raw roster, win titles, and, Mm -hmm. like, seek revenge for things that they feel they were wronged by and that's something that doesn't ever go away there's always going to be someone who wronged you there's always going to be a title for you to chase you know what i mean like that is something that i feel like could live on beyond whatever they're doing right now 